After you get the plane off the ramp and down near the runway, you're ready for the run-up. One of the most important checks of all. Center at an angle. That gets all your props safe over concrete for the run-up. And if there's a guy behind you, you won't blast him when you rev him up. As your co-pilot, the instructor locks the tail wheel while she's rolling, so that when the wheel's in line, the lock pin will drop into place. Tail wheel locked. And... Brakes! Brakes set. Maybe here you'll switch to interphone. Easier to talk that way. Then the checklist again. And the instructor's command to check trim tabs. Set them at zero. Elevator trim tab. Rudder. Aileron. Then... Before the run-up, always check your oil temperature. You ought to have at least 40 degrees before beginning the run-up. Why not close cow flaps? Hurry up a little. It might mean trouble. If you close them, you get uneven cooling, local hot spots, metal fatigue. I get it. Just like bending a wire back and forth until it breaks. That's it. Exercise turbos? Right. You advance throttles to 1,500 RPM for turbo exercise. And you know why it's important. To get warm oil circulating through the turbo regulators. If regulator oil is stiff or congealed, the turbo waste gates won't react properly. One avoidable cause of a runaway turbo on takeoff. Leaving turbos on, you do a repeat on the props. Give them plenty of time to change pitch. Watch the tax for that. If it's below freezing, exercise both turbos and props four times. Set the lock to keep the levers from creeping. And then, turbos off. And before the mag check, another important detail. Before you rev them up, turn on your generators and check each one for ampere output. If they balance, they're all putting out all right. Ampere output, okay. Now voltage and then turn them off. Twenty-eight and a half on each. Generators checked and off. Check mags at twenty-eight inches, starting with number one. While you're boosting manifold pressure, you remember there's a backfire hazard during the mag check. So you check turbos off, waste gates open, just to be sure. Off, left. Don't watch the tank, watch the engine. Roughness doesn't always give you a quick drop in RPM. Off, right, off. Throttle up to the stop. Back slowly on the throttle because of the induction backfire hazard. Same procedure on all engines. Back to command to call the tower for takeoff clearance, a quick check of manifold pressure, and then full turbo. Since you're using 91 grade fuel here, you can't draw 46 inches. Power's cut about 10%. You set your lock. Check RPM. A little below 2,500 on this fuel. Take a look at the engine. And everything okay. Back slowly on the throttle because of the induction backfire hazard. Same procedure on all engines. to command to call the tower for takeoff clearance and you're off to the races lock tail wheel parking brakes hold it with your feet on the runway less hazard if you have to get away fast gyro Set the gyro compass and check your compass heading against the heading of the runway. Gyro set. Generators. Generators on. Tailwheel locked. Light out. 
Now let's see your rider. Three point takeoff. Three point? Three point. Pull the tail down, but don't give it enough pressure to cause a lot of wheel drag. And remember, you fly the airplane. I'll watch the engine. The cow flaps open? Right. Hold the brakes until you get 25 inches, then let her go. You'll have rudder control by the time you're hitting 50 miles an hour. With a crosswind, you might have to use the throttles a little. Rudder's enough today. On 100 octane, you'd be using 46 inches and 2,500 RPM. Little less than that with this fuel. You'll leave the ground at around 100 miles an hour. Then a kick on the brakes to stop the wheel spin and gear up. Get rid of that drag fast. In takeoff emergencies, the bare belly is better than wheels. Check the light, visual inspection later. 130 safe airspeed for power reduction. Manifold pressure first, pilot's job, but today your instructor does it. Then RPM. You'll find it all in the tech orders and your checklist. Co-pilot trails call flaps, returning each valve to the locked position. Check your landing gear. Up left. Up right. And when your flight engineer gets an okay on the tail wheel, the switch is returned to neutral. Things happen fast in the takeoff, and it's easy enough to tense up a little. You did well enough, but... Don't fight her, she won't throw you. On our next takeoff, you'll reduce power. I'll just make the final adjustments. Hold your airspeed to 135 on the climb. 